<laughs> the soldiers under the watchful eye of the now twice wounded mayor continue firing into the packed bags of men that continue to surge around the corner at the bottom of Stone Hill. Oh! Oh! Finally, there was two months, oh! and the men began to retreat, carrying as many of the wounded and dying as they could. Oh, retreat, men! Oh. <laughs> At 10 o'clock, the square was once again deserted, except for the dead and wounded. By 10 o'clock, the square was once again deserted, except for the dead and wounded. One man cried out in pain as he lay dying outside the mayor's house at the bottom of Stone Hill there. Okay, then. Thank you. <laughs> no one moved from inside the west gate as they were sure the charges had finally gone. At least 20 men had been killed and over 50 wounded. The men who lay out here injured and bleeding to death were denied water and any help. At the end of the day, ten bodies were removed and taken up to St. Louis Church and quickly buried in an unmarked grave. Ten other men are known to have died after having been carried away. Like those men buried in St. Louis, no one knows the location of their final resting place. The names of the 20 men who died in this square 171 years ago are as follows. John McCall, David Davis and his son, William Evans, Evan Davis, John Davis, William Faraday, John Jonathan, William Griffiths, Robert Lansdowne, Rhys Meredith, David Morgan, John Morris, George Shell, Abraham Thomas, Isaac Thomas, Williams, a deserter from the 29th Regiment of Foot, William Williams, William Aberdare, John the Roller. Could we just remember them for a moment in silence? <laughs> Within weeks, a trial was held in Monmouth where the leaders John Frost, Zephaniah Williams, and William Jones were initially sentenced to be executed by being hung, drawn, and quartered. However, this was eventually changed to transportation for life. They were pardoned in 1854, and John Frost was the only one to return to Britain to live out his days near Bristol, dying at the age of 92. Despite the terrible things that happened in this square in 1839, most of the reforms for which the Chartists were seeking were granted. Today, we all have the rights for which they were prepared to sacrifice their lives. And today we commemorate their loss. Thank you very much.
Uh, if you would like to find out more about the Cartis, the Cartis Convention is actually going on today in St. Mary's Institute on Stone Hill. It will be kicking off at 12 noon. 12.10, soup and bread will be available. I'm sure we can all do with some of them. And then there will be a number of talks on physics and medicine and all sorts of things for the Jarvis people. So please join us. Thank you very much. <coughs> John Frost. Llewellyn. Llewellyn. Video. <laughs> <laughs> I was dying. Oh, not dying. Well, you didn't Can die, did you? I was getting injured. Um, I wasn't dying. I was a casualty. Yeah, you were, yes. But yes, um, it was wonderful. To be fair, you look good for a 92-year-old man. <laughs> yeah. Did you see the sword fight? Yeah, sorry at all. The tip of it, look. These modern weapons, you know. Just want to have to I got lots of 